In this video, I'm going to show you how to answer questions related to the application of differentiation, especially to find marginal cost, marginal revenue, and marginal profit. So in order to find the marginal cost, marginal cost is denoted by C dash, so which is obtained by differentiating cost compared with Q. So marginal cost is equal to DC over DQ. The same goes for marginal revenue. So marginal revenue is equal to DR over DQ. And for marginal profit, we obtain by differentiating profit compared with the quantity. So DP, DQ is equal to marginal profit. Now, if the question asks us to minimize the cost, there are two steps you need to know. The first step is we need to find the marginal cost. So differentiate C compared with Q and then we equate with zero in order to find the value of Q. Then step number two, we differentiate DC DQ to give us D2C DQ square. And then from the value of Q obtained from step one, we substitute into D2C DQ square. And if the answer is greater than zero, or we say it is positive, then the value of Q obtained will minimize the cost, okay? Next, in order to maximize the revenue, same thing, step number one, we need to find the value of Q when the marginal cost is equal to zero, okay? Then from the value of Q, we differentiate dr dq to give us d2r dq square. Substitute the value of Q from step 1 into d2r dq square. And if the answer is less than 0 or negative, then the revenue is said to be maximum. Okay? Let's look at sample question number 1. The demand function for washing machines is P equals to 300 minus 5Q, where P is the price per unit in RM and Q is the quantity demanded. So we are asked to determine the price that will maximize the total revenue. So the first thing is we are given the price equals to 300 minus 5Q. We are asked to find uh, the price that will maximize the revenue. So before we answer this question, the first step is to find the function of revenue. So revenue is equal to P times Q. So we substitute P with 300 minus 5Q. Alright, substitute into P times Q. So from here, if we simplify, 300 times Q will give us 300Q. And then Q times 5Q is equal to 5Q square. Okay? So from here, step number one is to find the marginal revenue. So differentiate R compared with Q, we will get DR over DQ equals to 300 minus 10Q. So from here, take this marginal revenue and equate with zero. Okay? So from here, find the value of Q. So 300 minus 10Q equals zero. Shift the negative 10Q to the right. We will get 300 equals to 10Q. And from here, Q will be equals to 300 over 10 equals to 30. Right? Now, step number two, we will take dr dq and differentiate again. So when we differentiate dr dq, 300 doesn't have a q, so we ignore it. So negative 10q, when we differentiate, we will get negative 10. So since this is a negative, which means it is a maximum. So the value of q equals to 30 here will maximize the revenue. Okay? So when Q equals to 30, the question asks us to find the price. So we substitute Q equals to 30 into the uh, function P, which is equals to 300 minus 5Q. So substitute Q with 30, so we will get 300 minus 5 times 30 equals to 150. And from here, the answer is 150. So hence, the price that maximizes the revenue is equal to 150 ringgit. Okay? So let's look at sample question number two. The cost function of a product is given by CQ equals to 3Q squared minus 400. And its revenue function is given by R equals to Q squared plus 
फोर्टी क्यू